Hey guys, hey guys, thanks for watching. Um, I made a video last night, but um, I ended up deleting it because uh, it was too dark. Um, so I'm gonna do this video again. Um, so pretty much overall, um, yesterday it was the Indianapolis, well it's today too, uh, the Indianapolis Knife and Gun Show. Um, it was a, a long drive for me, but uh, the reason I ended up going was because I needed some preps for my backpack. Um, and I knew in mind what I was going to go for. I knew it was going to take the Glock and have it um, change the sights and also do a trigger job on it. Just like I did with my Glock 17 long, uh, which I sold it by the way. That was another story. Uh, so this is all the stuff I bought. Uh, main thing, I'm probably going to make this like a, maybe a two or three part video. Um, Nat, the last gun show that I went to was back in um, the beginning of the year, uh, or the middle of the year. <clears throat> um, and I, wa I walked by these, uh, this booth where they were selling like beef jerky and stuff. And I didn't pay much attention to it. So... You know, I walked back and it smelled really, really good. Um, and I don't know, to just to me, I just I ended up kicking myself because I wanted to buy some, but I didn't that time. So I know that I went when I went back, I had to check these guys out. Um, if you guys go to the website or if they ask you for a survey on, you know, where you heard about them, uh, make sure you let them know about this channel. Uh, this right here is. Uh, elk so you see the little elk on the top uh, with beef uh, pepper stick and I don't believe no I threw it away yep I did okay yes I did okay um maybe I didn't nope yeah I did so um I ended up uh, eating one of these yesterday when I got home uh, me and my dog and it was a duck uh, with ma uh, maple flavored something. Um, it was the bomb. It was really, really good. Very delicious. I loved it. Um, so if you guys give a, have a chance, go check them out. There's a website, zixmeats.com. Uh, and then more information about them. Uh, made in the U.S., of course. Uh, of course, uh, Zix Specialty Meats, that's the address, they're in Berrien, Berry, Berry, Springs, Michigan. Um, check the website out. The reason I ended up liking these a lot is because these are pre-packaged, um, and they're like a uh, seal vacuum, uh, air vacuum. So these are really great. They're very light um, to put in your backpack if you're going to go camping um, or maybe a bag out bag. These are perfect. Um, it doesn't give a lot of, you know, as to what the nutrition value is, but you know, it's meat. Um, it's delicious. Uh, you know, you got the ingredients right there, which sodium nitrate and all that other stuff is um, uh, for preserving it, um, which is all natural. Uh, now, as far as the expiration date on this, this is November 18, 14. So I'm guessing 2014. Uh, my guess is that you know they'll store longer if you put them in a, you know, in the fridge um, where there's no light and nothing can get to it. You know, my guess is they'll last a lot longer than that. Um, uh, they had them on sale for five for twenty dollars. Um, I ended up picking out five, uh, and then well, actually four, and then the last one was six. So if you have a dog, and I know mine's going to go nuts for this, this is dried sausage with blueberry. And those are the ingredients. Real simple, beef, pork, blueberry, salt, spice, brown sugar, and garlic powder. Okay, so this one doesn't have uh, some sort of ingredient that you're not going to be able to pretty much pronounce. Uh, eight ounces, also made in the same place. Um, and then they got a number at the bottom. I don't know if you guys want to call them. The channel so you guys can see it's a 2 6 9 4 7 1 7 1 2 1. Um, so I ended up picking up four and then one for Onyx. And then right before I was leaving, 
um, you know, since I ended up feeding myself the last time because I didn't purchase any, um, I ended up dropping by the booth again right before I left, and I ended up purchasing more. Um, so here's the uh, dog version, um, which I'm going to put in this backpack. This is the uh, elk with beef. Uh, this right here is antelope with beef. So you can see the picture on the top. You can see the little antelope. Those are the ingredients. Um, this one has paprika. Uh, all of these are 8 ounces. Um, this right here is venison. Now this is one of my favorite. They actually have uh, little samples at the table that you can take uh, so you can taste them. This right here was well, next to the duck that we ate yesterday. Uh, this right here is the bomb. Like you have, if you don't like venison, you know that's fine and all. But until you have these, oh my god! Um, I did not open this because I knew if I was gonna eat this, I was gonna eat the other one, and so I kind of tried to force myself, force myself not to eat this. But this right here, it is freaking delicious. Um, so that's the uh, venison, um, and then right before I left, let's see, uh, let's see, this one I didn't try because I don't think they had any uh, for taste, uh, so I ended up picking this one, kangaroo with beef, there's a little koala or kangaroo looking thing at the top, um, this, uh, now this one, uh, this is a uh, beef stick, um, so when I was, uh, walking around, you know, kind of tasting them, I ended up, uh, picking one that said, a uh, beef, uh, smoked with, uh, something oak or maple wood, something. Uh, it was really good. I really like this one. Actually, it's this one. Uh, it's six beef natural smoke rope style. Um, and I can't remember the type of wood that they smoked it with. Um, but it was really good, and take my word for it, this one's also really good. Um, so I ended up uh, getting one of the one of these. Um, that's all. And I also like this one a lot. And then when I went back, uh, they told me, uh, you know, I wanted, uh, you know, it was three for five, or I'm sorry, five dog, five of these for twenty dollars. Or uh, three of these, so three of these, and one of these for twenty dollars. Um, so this one right here, uh, I didn't taste this one, but you know I do like honey ham. Um, and then you got the pork at the top, and then this one I did taste, and this one I also did like. Uh, it's pheasant with beef. Uh, this one I did like too. Um, and then of course the last one again is the beef uh, stick naturally smoked. And as you guys can see the color of it, um, it looks very delicious. Uh, this one right here is one pound versus the other one which are eight ounces. So that's why I ended up picking this one. Um, this is something right here uh, that you can put in your backpack. Now, before what I tried is I got if you go to Walmart and you buy um, some rice, they actually sell rice that are that is pre-packaged in tiny little bags, and the little bag has tiny little holes where the water will drain through. Um, you get one of those bags, um, and then I ended up putting out. Uh, um, uh, the jerky that they sell at Walmart, um, gym, uh, Slim Jim jerky or whatever, uh, some of that, uh, and it makes a really good meal. Uh, also the um, oh, the Roman noodle soups that you know just put wa boiling water and put open the little package and put it in the pasta. Um, that with uh, some beef jerky makes also a good meal. Uh, so I really like beef jerky. Um, and these right here are great for your bagel bag. You Pre-packaged, throw them in there, um, uh, especially the eight-ounce ones, because 
you know, this right here, you know, if you have to ration it, you know, maybe this will be two days meal, uh, you know, four ounces in the morning and then four ounces at night, um, unless you find something else uh, to eat, like squirrel. Um, so these are really good. Um, and then this is also really good. Uh, so this is, you know, more like, um, you know, you, this is your last one and you got to split it with your dog. So I really like this. So make sure you check the website out. Um, and again, that is, if I can find it. Zixmeats.com. And if, you know, make sure that you let them about the YouTube channel. Um, oh, this is the venison one. I like this. This one's really good. Um, so that's what I ended up buying. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, all right. The other thing is I ended up uh, buying uh, balaclava uh, for winter. You know, it's a little bit dirty, and I ended up wearing this today. Today is about 60, 69 degrees outside, sixty-eight, um, and it was too warm for me. Uh, so that's why I, kind of why I liked it. Uh, this one right here, uh, you guys can see the material. Uh, it's made by Rothko. Uh, you know, they sell some lower end technical products, um, but the quality is somewhat good. Um, so I really like this one. Uh, and then again, if you guys uh, checked out my channel, you know, I like to spend most of the time outside. Uh, or at least take my dog outside to get exercise. Um, so the only time I don't actually take him out is if it's A, raining, um, or B, it's really cold. Um, but now with this, you know, I can, you know, take him for, you know, a good 30 minutes outside in the cold weather. Um, so I really like this. Uh, also, this is good for your preps, for your bug out bag. Um, and I'll do another video on this because I ended up purchasing a Blackhawk balaclava that um, I didn't want. Uh, it was like a, you know, one of those uh, impulse buy purchases. Um, but I'll talk about that later. So that's the balaclava I bought. And I'll go ahead and pause this and make a part two of this.